See, does everyone feel more relaxed now? <laughs> so, um, if your dream is to become a voice actor, looking at you, looking at you, we have this conversation. So, um, if your dream is to become a voice actor, I support that. I think it's awesome. I think that everyone should pursue whatever dream is their dream, as long as it doesn't impede on other people's freedoms. As long as you're in DC, I yeah, should just be very clear. Um, like, if your dream is to become like some crazy person that is like a serial killer, I don't support that. <laughs> but I do support um, following your dreams, whatever those may be. So, if your dream is to become a voice actor, uh, my number one piece of advice is to become an actor first, because voice acting, at the essence, is being an actor. <laughs> so um, I've been acting since I was nine. I started in community theater, and I acted all through middle school. I did some commercials, things like that. Uh, I worked with my community theater a lot. I worked with my high school theater a lot. I worked with my college theater a lot. You know, it's just one of those things. Like, yeah, okay, just fiddle. Um, <laughs> It's one of those things, like, if you want to be an actor, a voice actor, an actor-actor, you have to gain the skill set to do so. So you have to be comfortable in front of crowds. You need to be able to memorize lines. You need to be able to, you know, um, act. <laughs> so if you want to be a voice actor, we're still here, baby girl. Right here? Yeah? So if you want to be a voice actor, then you should really study acting. Like, look into acting classes, get involved in the community theater. Um, get involved in your school theater clubs, uh, things like that. And then from there, you can branch out into voice acting if that's something you would like to pursue still. So, <laughs> those are the top two questions. <laughs> Outside of that, um, I can talk to you about what shows I have been in, which normally I use my phone to Google, but I don't have it because it's playing some awesome music. So, um, Desert Punk, I was in Desert Punk, um, School Rumble, I was Akira, uh, Negama, I was Chao Ling Shin, and Matsu, the little frog. Um, I was, thank you, I was in Bakano, I was Rachel, uh, I was in Claymore, I was uh, Sophia and Flora, I was in Witchblade, I was Shigori. Oh, thanks, so. um, I'm trying to think of things I've signed today. <laughs> um, I'm in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Woo! Oh, uh, I'm Lawn Fawn, I'm the girl that cuts off her arm. Oh, right here. That's girl. awesome. Oh Thank you very much. Um, I was also in. Um, have you all heard of Evangelion? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, I'm in Evangelion 2.22. I'm Mari. I'm the girl in pink. Well, I started in a green outfit, and then I changed it to pink. I based most of my characters off their outfits. I'm like, oh yeah, she's that cute girl with the little skirt. I love her. Oh, El Cazador de la Bruja, one of my all-time favorite outfits. She has these little shorts and this little cape. She has little gun holsters and cowboy boots. Ah, oh, so cute. Uh, I've been looking for that cape forever. Oh, can I see that? Thank you. Um, let's see, what else? Um, so, oh yeah, Jay Ose. I was Tiz. I was in Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple. Woo! Um, I was in Speed Graffer, I was Yui, um, let's see, uh, Sasami Magical Girl Club, I was Ayane, uh, Balder Force, uh, School Rumble again, but Bakano said that, Sergeant Frog, I was Ghost Girl, Witchblade, uh, Meifong, Blue, and Blast Rider, I was in Bamboo Blade, I was Luna and Catherine Sins, uh, Mari, I was Mizune and Soul Eater, she Woo! Little, well, thanks, Woo! it's right here, I love your as asymmetry, um, I was Francesca Lucini in Strike Witches. I'm in Oedo Rocket. Oh, I'm in Bakken Test. That's not in here, though. Uh, I was Suzuri in Ride Back. Uh, I was Lon Fon. I already said that. I feel like there's more. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, I've been in a few things. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. She's the best. She's like, oh, here, we have to be here. Now, here, have this. She's awesome. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, not to put you on the spot or anything. So, now... Uh, I would like to A, everyone look at the door. Hello guys. <laughs> You're good. Uh, so now um, I want to open the floor. So if you all have any questions for me uh, that I have not already touched on, uh, then, or if maybe I have, you want to go in more in depth, which is totally fine because I support you and your dreams. Um, then let, oh, you want to talk about your shoes? Yeah. Are they cute? Yes. They're black snakes. They are very painful though. They're not at all actually. They're really quite comfortable. I just, I am, um, like my feet, like when it's cold, your feet, uh, or I guess maybe it's just your toes and fingers. Anyways, I feel like my feet have shrunk since I purchased them. I feel like they're a little, little wobbly, but yeah, I like them. <laughs> I think I got them at Nordstrom. Uh -huh. Thanks, bro.
row. Don't look my toes. <laughs> it's sure. Uh, they're BCBG apparently. So BCBG. Um, questions? Other questions? We can talk about random things. Oh yes. Hi. I have two questions. Sure. Weren't you a black butler? Oh, I wasn't that too. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? The jingle lady? The what? The jingle lady. I think so. You think so? Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. You're down to town. And also, the second question was, oh, did you originally plan to be a anime voice actor? I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? No, I just planned, uh, my plan, uh, I was, um, I've been an actor, like I said, since I was nine. Yeah. Uh, and my plan was to give up on all of that foolishness and my childhood dreams. Don't do it, baby girl. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> my plan was to uh, go to college, do that, do that, everyone. Uh, my plan was to go to college, and then I was going to go into law school. Mm -hmm. I was going to be a maritime lawyer. That was my big plan. Uh, so when I graduated college, I decided that I would take a year off and study for the LSATs. At, or else at, and then um, I just I got a real job and I kept doing voice work and I became more and more passionate about that and I'm very 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 blessed to have such a supportive family and my grandfather brought me into his, his office which is always daunting but my grandfather brought me into his office one day and was like after dinner and was like is this really what you want do you really want to be a lawyer what do you really want and I was like I think I just want to act like that's what I really want he's like well you're born for a baby girl do what you need to do and so he's been super supportive my mother my siblings amazingly supportive um, I actually wasn't into anime at all for the longest time I got into anime my brother my older brother has always been into anime but I got it, I know, right? I was like, what are you talking about, Seth? They don't understand. But, um, <laughs> right? Like, a lot of people don't. Like, you just don't know how cool it is until, like, somebody's like, dude, just watch it. Or and so I actually got into anime uh, when I was in college. Um, I met this boy. That's how it always starts, right? I met this boy. He was adorable and, like, the cutest guy ever. He was like, oh, do you like Cowboy Bebop? I was like, oh, yeah, I love Cowboy Bebop. I watch it every day. You gotta get Cowboy Bebop. Like, I just blockbuster that night and rented Cowboy Bebop and watched it and um, fell in love with anime. From Cowboy Bebop, I went on to like Samurai Champloo and like just on and on. And like it just became like this thing because it's so pretty and it's so cool and it's, it's just, sparkly. It's sparkly. And like, I love sparkles. You know, no. I just think it's neat. So, not like vampire sparkles. I have Thank never you. seen those movies. Like, Thank you. Don't ever see them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. No, it's like my number one fear. Vampires, werewolves, ghosts, schools. Yeah, don't watch Twilight. Mm -hmm. or no, I can't. I can't. Or I Underworld. watched I watched like fifteen minutes of Zombie Land. Zombie yes. Land? Nightmares for two weeks. <laughs> like I can't like that opening scene where they're like number one rule of zombie land. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're just oh my gosh! Like yes. freaking out. My boyfriend now is like, you can't, you can't watch. Like, I was crying. It was like, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you watch it. I totally get it now. I was like, yeah, told you so. And the door. Oh. So, um, what were we talking about? Oh, right. So I got into anime because of a boy. His name is Casey. He's a sweetheart. He's now one of my best friends. Great relationship. Uh, well, it didn't end well. But uh, <laughs> then he came back around. Now he's saying this girl named Katie. She's going to be my friend. Um, so, <laughs> what are we talking about? I feel like there was a Stop. question in there. Maybe. About how you got the choice. Oh, right. So, um, my, my choice was to be an actor. Mm. That's what I wanted to be. And um, when I graduated from college, I got the real job, and then I kept acting, and I kept doing voiceovers, and I decided that this is what I was supposed to do, because it was where I felt most comfortable, it was where um, all of my friends were. Um, I've been really, really lucky to um, not only find a career in anime voice acting and voice acting in general, uh, I've been very, 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 very blessed, but um, not only to find a calling and a path, but to find somewhere that I fit in, you know? Like for the first time, I'm like, oh, makes sense. I could be myself and I'm weird and quirky and kind of too much yeah, sometimes. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> huh? Have it's fun to get paid while you're at it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And on top of that, you know, I've met some of my best friends. Yeah. Like, not just, you know, best friends for like a year, but like best friends, I mean, amazing people that have been there for me through thick and thin. Like, I feel like I was just put in the right place at the right time. 
Um, and I prepared myself for those things because I've always been passionate about acting. But um, it just ended up being some a form of acting that I am en engrossed, en encased, engrossed, encased in something. Engrossed. I'm in it. To win it. <laughs> uh, so that's where I am now. Did you just take a picture with your iPad? Is that an iPad? Do you ever have the compulsion to like lick it? <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to know, like, if you lick an iPad or an iPhone, like, will it make it do stuff? Uh, I don't think there's so. an app for that. Oh, yeah. sure really? <laughs> oh my god. What, lick me? <laughs> no, like, I, I don't know. That's yeah, yeah, it goes with I the think... lollipop. Yeah. What's up, sweetie? What do you need? <laughs> you have? Really? Candy making apps. Candy making apps. That's awesome. I love y'all's hats. Those are cool. Okay, so if y'all don't ask me questions, then I just babble. All right! It's okay. How much money do boys have? How much money do boys have? Are there That's fair. I cannot speak on uh, amounts because of contractual obligations, blah, blah, blah. I'll get sued. And then any money I did make. I won't get to keep on that. Like, I can't talk about it. However, I can tell you um, that in the grander scheme of things in acting world, um, Texas is a right to work state. And there is a reason that the number one anime house, English dubbing anime house, is in Texas. So it's, you know, it's not great. It's uh, a lot more than people in Ethiopia make. So uh, I'm, I consider myself fairly blessed. Uh, even if I wasn't, even if I was making anything, I'd still be really, really blessed because it is somewhere I feel most at home. It is somewhere I feel most supported. Uh, it is somewhere where I have a foundation of friends and people and colleagues that understand me in a way that I don't think other people could. I'm kind of quirky. I'm a little much sometimes. Too much. Uh, but What's that? Would you they, make a living? I mean, yeah, no, for sure. Like, no, I, I didn't. I didn't buy these shoes with love, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, baby. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's not an easy industry to break into, but um, I just was at the right place at the right time, like I said. So, it just worked out. It doesn't always work out. But, um, I mean, like any acting gig, I don't know for sure when I'm working next, because I audition for every show I get. Uh, and there are a lot of shows that I audition for that I don't get. So, if you're an actor, you have to be prepared for that sort of thing. Like, I'm not, I may not work for a while. So, you have to have systems in place, backup plans in place, savings in place, things like that. Conventions. Uh, so, yeah. So that you know, you know, like, so you know how, I mean, it's a lot about a life choice. Like, I'm not, I don't have a guaranteed 40 hours a week that I go in. I don't. But I do have, you know, a passion and a desire to do something. Um, I certainly feel that, um, I feel like I'm truly blessed because I get to do something that I love. And not everyone can say that. So, um, I mean, that's something to be grateful for. And um, the majority of the world's population lives in poverty and can't afford clean water, let alone fancy stupid shoes. So I, I mean, for me, um, even without the contractual obligations, like I'm, I'm really happy. And that's the bottom line for me. Ideally, if I could be a millionaire, though, bruh, like 80 cars in the garage. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little Prada, a little more Prada. Uh, yes, question. Oh, cool. Um, there was a time uh, about maybe like straight. Yeah, straight or going on months. Um, the longest day I've ever had was 12 hours. It was awful. <laughs> um, I had 12. Dude, I had 12 hour days for a hot minute there. Uh, it was while I was doing Tower of Drawaga, and I feel like it was El Cazador too. But I was doing uh, multiple shows, and then the daytime director and nighttime, like, there, uh, well, at that time, <clears throat> Funimation was recording, uh, like, day sessions and night sessions. But I, um, I, was, I was lucky enough 
to be booked enough that I, um, to be cast enough that I had a lot of work to do. And so um, there was a, a point in time where I was doing like 12 hour days, which was hard. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to be happy and then sad and then happy and then angry and then happy and then, you know, like everything. And um, there was one day uh, that Wendy Powell was sitting in for Tower of Druaga. That was definitely the night show I was recording. But she was sitting, sitting in for Tower of Druaga and was like, girl, how y'all doing this? This is crazy. She was like, did you eat lunch? I was like, no, honey. She was like, did you eat dinner? I was like, get me some M&M's. <laughs> she was awesome. But it was just one of those things. Like, And everyone's done. Well, not everyone. But you know, most of the voice actors that you know, that you see around on the circuit, like, most of us have done it. You know, you, you're lucky enough to get cast. And you're like, yeah, I will totally take that role. I'm not turning it down. I will work whatever you want. So hang on one second. I'll come right back. Didn't you have two questions? Oh no, one was the shoe, two was the, okay. And then uh, as far as like the longest amount of time I've worked, I guess is seven years, because I can honestly say I am a paid actor. <laughs> Amen, thank you. All right, yes. Did I do a voice in Bakken Test? The little girl with the green hair, it's like crazy. Is that, no, it's not okay. Okay, am I good? Yes. How do you feel about becoming a part of Full Metal? Mm. <laughs> lucky. I feel lucky. I'm sorry, the question was how do you feel about becoming a part of Full Metal? And my answer is lucky. I feel really lucky. It's such an epic, iconic sort of anime and it's such, like it's like this, this massive body of work that I get to be a part of now, which is awesome. And not, oh this is a good song, let me turn that off. <laughs> ADD. Yay! Usually. So, um, no, I feel really lucky. I, uh, I get to play Log Pond, who's no shrinking violet. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Brotherhood. But she's super hardcore, and spoiler alert, earmuffs, if you don't want to hear it. Uh, she like cuts her own arm off, and she's just like super awesome, and she's like sacrificing, what's up guys? She's like sacrificing her life so that her people could live, and she's tough and awesome. I love Full Metal. Like, it was, it was one of the first, um, it was, I think it was uh, one of my biggest, like, already established sort of things uh, before Ava, Evangelion. So uh, it's it's been amazing. And, I mean, the director, Mike McFarland, is such a cool guy, like, the nicest. And um, the cast is awesome. And it's just cool to, like, because I already know everybody. Like, <laughs> you already know everyone that works, or, well, not everyone, but a lot of the people that work at Funimation. But then to be like, oh my god, bro, I'm totally on full metal with you now. Like, it's crazy! And so that's really me. Um, so I'm really happy about it. I'm really happy. I'm very proud of that show. I'm very proud of being a part of it. And I'm very proud. Well, thank you. High five through the air. <laughs> awesome. What's that? My question sort of tied into that. What was your favorite part about voicing Lawn Fun? My favorite part about voicing Lawn Fawn is that <laughs> when I go to conventions now, people are like, will you do that thing and pretend like you're in love with Ling? And so I can call Todd and be like, dude, oh my god, I just did it again. Like, you should do that now. Huh? You should do that now. Oh yeah, here, I'll call him. Your phone's over there. <laughs> He's, no, I don't want to ruin the music, but I will call him later. He's Wee. awesome. Like, it's, we did a panel together in... We were in Canada. We were in Edmonton. Uh, we went to Edmonton, Canada Blend together Canada. recently. Huh? I'll just said Blend Canada. <laughs> we went to Edmonton, Canada recently and we did a panel together. It was Ling, which is, I don't know if, if y'all aren't familiar, then there's Ling and he's like the king or whatever. And then there's Lan Fan, who's a chick and his bodyguard. Cause that's how hard for you. Yeah, well, how hard Lan Fan is. So, uh, so we did a panel together and that's all anybody wanted to talk about was how like Lon Fawn was in love with Ling and, <laughs> and um, I think that's my favorite part about it, like just being silly about it and like joking around with Todd about it and everything like that. That's fun. Yes, honey. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Lon You're okay. Start again. What'd you say? about your job. My favorite part about my job is getting to meet young ladies like you. Aww. 
Yeah. It's well, true. You guys are, I mean, if it weren't for fans, if it weren't for y'all, like, we, I wouldn't have a job. I wouldn't get to pursue my dream. I wouldn't have met my best friends. You're my favorite part about my job. True story, Ladybug. High five. Ready? Nice. Well played. What's up, darling? Out of all of the characters that I have voice acted, my favorite would have to be Nadie from El Cazador de la Bruja. Uh, she, oh, this is a good one, right? Um, uh, she is a bounty hunter, and she has to hunt down this girl who's like has magical powers, and um, she has like she's the one with the shorts and the cape and the little cowboy boots. Love her. Uh, she's also really tough and she's sassy, but she's like wacky and crazy, and all this magical stuff happens in her life, and she doesn't know what's happening, but it's okay. She she has a tagline, like she's my favorite.